Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back. I'm watching the last 10 minutes of the London Marathon. Super Elite's running live. And then, I'm running the London Marathon. All right, finished my work stuff. I'm all suited up, ready to go. Um, got my shoes on, laced up. My One of my favorite runners, Elliot Kachobi, who hasn't lost London Marathon since 2013, came in eighth place. So I'm interested to see some like post-race interviews or questions for him, for him later. Um, but Sarah Hall in the women's race had an amazing final sprint from to go from third to second. Look that up. If you get a chance, it's an amazing performance, but they've all run their London Marathon. So now I, along with American Cancer Society, which we are always fundraising with, the link is down below if you feel so inclined. They are a great organization that we run for. Um, I'm going to go run my virtual London Marathon, and I was going to go to this famous Clay Road in Claremont, which is a 10 mile route, but because of all the rain last night and this morning, and I think there's a 100% chance of rain in like an hour. Um, because of that, I thought it wouldn't be smart to go run on a clay road with it all becoming wet clay and muddy. So I'm running my normal routes, which I'll have to do some repeating, which is not my favorite. But I'm excited to just get out there and run and hit the pavement and put in the hours on my legs. I don't anticipate a wonderful time performance. Um, but I'm excited to kind of go into the pain cave and just be out there for probably five hours on the legs, on the feet, just cranking, cranking miles onto that pavement. So um, I'll give some updates throughout it, but it's a just under 8.30. I think by the time I get downstairs, watch up. I have to use their specific app design for this. So I have to see how that works. And then I'll get rolling. Yeah, I'm sorry for the close-up, but I'm being strategic so you can't see exactly where I live. It's already raining, and I'm about to start this race. But races don't end in rain. So if, I, if this was actually in London, London was rainy just today, today. I've been at Run Disney events where it's raining. Um, I just hope it doesn't rain the whole time. But it makes it adventurous. I'm never going to run 100 mile or one day if I can't run in some rain. So, my friend Steve out in Tampa said it's pouring by him, so I might get some storms, but by the way, I'm eight miles in, two gels, I feel really good. Just keeping a nice steady pace, not trying to prove anything, because today's race is dedicated to my dear sweet pea, who's up in heaven, being a little angel, watching over me and Sarah, and James and all of our embryos, because it was about a year ago that we were in the struggle, to know if Sweet Pea was gonna stay with us or not. And originally I was gonna run next week when the Chicago Marathon was gonna be because that was pretty much a year to the date that we found out that we, Sweet Pea wasn't staying with us here on Earth. But I love running, I love marathons. I am always in awe of what the body can accomplish if your mind can set to it. And I'm running today for, for, for Sweet Pea because Sweet Pea is always with us watching over us and now as we're going to be welcoming James home this month we're going to teach James about Sweet Pea, we're always going to talk about Sweet Pea. So today's marathon is for Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea, I love you. Your dad's kicking butt. I am over a quarter of the way. It's breezy, it's rainy, I got fuel, I'm running smart, I'm running hard. It's going to be a good Day. I'd be lying if I said I regretted changing my route during the run and not having water with me. Um, it rained pretty significantly for a while, which felt good. But then I hit a few miles where there was no breeze. And it's still like under 80, but the breeze is what really helps, even the smallest one. I'm at like 17 miles right now. But I wanted to show you a very important place that after we got the news that Sweet Pea's embryo stuck, I looked at this weird looking building every day on the way to and from work. That building there you can see from I-4 
on the east side of it. That's Winnie Palmer. That's where we knew we'd be giving birth to Sweet Pea. That's where we're going to give birth to James. But every day to and from work after we find out that embryo stuck, I couldn't help but smile every single day. On the way to, to work, that building reminded me I'm the dad. Work is gonna be just fine. And every day on the way home, I look at that building and go, I'm driving home to Sarah and my baby. And loss is a strange thing, but I don't look at that building with sadness because before we knew James was coming, looking at that building reminded me that Sweet Pea taught Sarah and I that we can do this. So if you're ever driving north of Universal on I-4 for some reason, look east of I-4, you'll see that building. That's Winnie Palmer. But I gotta find water. The water fountain I knew of is still over two miles away and I could really go for some before that. 21 miles. I wasn't gonna get an update until my next spot that I planned, but my headphones just died. What? That's four hours. Check. Air, uh, what are these? Checks air. Four hours? You were fully charged. Well, it is what it is. These last five miles, 5.08 miles, we just have to be playing music through my phone. I got some water, but the thing about water and marathons is you got to be consistent or else it comes back to bite you. And I'm nervous, though I feel good now with five miles. That those, that 10 or so miles I went without any water may still come up behind me. But I told you guys, this runs for sweet pea and I feel really good. I just like can keep running. That's it. That's what happens when you run for, when you have meaning behind your run. Which like I told you guys always during all the trainings and all the crazy challenges or not crazy challenges. Just get out and do the miles and have a good reason. Don't run for speed or anything. Run for health, run for your family, run for yourself. Run to enjoy the environment, I don't know. Now I'm just excusing not to run right now, so I'm gonna go. Check it out. Center for Reproductive Medicine. Orange Avenue Surgical Center. 25 miles, a little more than a mile left. This runs for Sweet Pea, but there's a very important piece the Sweet Pea's journey, and that is here in this building. This is where Sarah and I met our awesome infertility specialists, our doctor, our nursing staff, our study staff. All of them mean the world to us. They have changed our lives forever. This is where we heard a lot of bad news, a lot of surprising news, and some of the best news in the whole world. This is where we heard James's heartbeat for the first time. This is where we heard Sweet Pea's heartbeat for the first time. This is where we said goodbye to Sweet Pea. Um, there's a lot of mixed emotions in this building, but currently, the very cool thing about this building is, I believe it's on this side of the building, we have our embryos stored here. So, we have Sweet Pea and James's and our first embryos siblings right here. So I figured, dedicated the run to Sweet Pea, ran past Winnie Palmer, and now, right before the end of this marathon, visit the place where it all started and where our family is and where all of our journey with Sweet Pea happened, besides carrying Sweet Pea in our hearts going forward. So, with that, I think it's time I get this marathon done. I'm sick of running. It's been over five hours. So, I'll see you when I get home. Hi. I'm clean and I don't smell or I'm sweaty. He did it. It was great. Yeah, mentally and physically, I didn't perform. So technically that was my fourth marathon, not counting the 50K. And it was my second worst. 
but that's to be as expected. As far as timing it's, goes. As far as timing. Mentally and physically, I feel the best. So, like, I think that, has, like, I didn't deplete myself to go faster. Yeah. I also have not been running as much and, and all that stuff with, you know, not running as much. Yeah. It just wasn't um, like you, you didn't really... Well, this came up pretty last minute, and then you really had only trained for like a couple of weeks. Right, and it was open because it's virtual, so like I did get stopped at roads where mm -hmm. like I ran on bigger intersections. So like I, there was one, I got stopped for like 95 seconds, and I'm like, and I can't stop my timer, which like a lot of my friends yelled at me to stop it at lights, but this was active. I was being tracked via London's app, which was yeah. super cool. And with no aid stations or assistance whatsoever, I. The last time you did like a street marathon, I still came out and you changed shoes and all of that. Um, so yeah, good. I had a good day, productive day, did some cleaning, did some laundry, did some situating. Um, but we decided to at least get out of the house, go to TJ Maxx, maybe go to Ikea I'm for hungry. a couple of things for the nursery. Yeah, we're gonna probably grab something. To eat. We might have the other deep dish pizza tonight. Um, We're at Sodo. Yeah, on Orange Avenue. Um, and that's the plan. Pinky's up. So we're getting some organization for the armoire. I think I found something Eve needs. Oh god. The whole set, isn't it? Oh my goodness, it is. A new bed. A blanket? She doesn't like blankets, but. Hello? Let's go. Car haul. Baskets. <laughs> Baskets. I'm not gonna throw these because they'll break. I got slippers for the hospital. Yeah. We got new bamboo toothbrushes because that plastic never dies. I got Halloween socks because. I might steal some of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're for both of us. We gotta be festive now that we got kids in our house. This is for a little Jane Z for Halloween. He's going to have a costume too. If it's like for PJ coziness or just like going to... Uh, Anywhere. Fun. Yeah. This is just a really nice soft outfit for him. Shower liner. Because... Just needed a new one. Just needed a new one. They're so affordable there. And face wipes for the hospital because if I can shower, I just want to be prepared to be able to like clean myself up like I do at Country Thunder. Yeah. Anything else? That's it? Now it's time to go get food. <laughs> Ooh, baby. We got all the sauces. All the sauces. Two no protein balls. And my favorite thing from here. Plantain. Fried plantains. Did we say it was I showed it, but it's Pollo Tropical. There's no sign, but <laughs> <laughs> that's where it is. So the inside is not open for sitting and eating, but there's those fried plantains. Oh my gosh. Sarah got a ball? Yes. I got a ball. Mm -hmm. We just have to sauce it up, mix it up, and devour it all in three seconds. Because that's how hungry I am. Our second and final stop. And then we're gonna go home and watch movies and make a deep dish pizza. <laughs> Still? I'm just, no, I'm just joking. I don't. I, I don't thought we were gonna so. get a snack when we were out and about, but we ended up having like full on dinner. But that could have been. It was considered so a snack. good. So well, let's good. Let's see how we feel later. Um, anywho, we're here for pillows, curtains, frames. We're ordering some of the last bit of artwork for the nursery. We're almost there, people. What we came here for. The pillow wall. So we need a bunch of these pillows, right? These for drawers. We need three inside ones and then two black ones, I think. Okay. Also, props to Switzerland. Look at this space is we have seven pillows in this park mm -hmm. and so much more room to shop still. Because we're going to have visitors. Yes, can we get that coffee mug? Yes. Thank you. Bittersweet news, they don't have the rods in stock so we're not going to get any of it today. Right. But we think we have settled on getting houndstooth. Is that green or is that black? This is gray. Gray, but we're going to get... Which would be a little bit more too. subtle. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get houndstooth for yeah. the curtains. And then we're going to get like little things that you'll be able to like push them off to the side because it gets really nice light in there. But we're just going off of um, all the different black and white patterns. But none of that today because... They don't have it, but we'll order it online. Boom. Pillow action. Our friend Lauren made us these pillows because she's the greatest. We need 
need one more pillow. Then we're gonna get one more black pillow. But it look it's acceptable like that, but it'd just be a little bit cozier. We had one more black pillow. We're gonna watch. Wait, did you show the armoire? Ooh, that looks like a little boy's armoire if I've ever seen one. Actually. But I did have an armoire for a period in my life, so I wasn't a little boy though. I also was not that organized. I just had like a bunch of junk. But here it is. Just a few days away. All right, today is October 4th, the running of the 40th London Marathon. Today's quote is by Bryant McGill. Successful people carefully manage their energy and associates. They are gatekeepers. You are the authority and the gatekeeper of your own life. We watched a crazy show. We watched two episodes of Utopia. What's it on? Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. It's not Rain for um, children, and anybody who doesn't like gore. Yeah, but we watched it, and there was. It's part of it set in Chicago. I mean, it is set in most of it. Parts of it. Parts of it are set in Chicago, and I was like, there was like a view of the Sears Tower, and I was like, oh, they're at UIC. Joking but, around. Yeah, joking around because it was like a little further away, but it was the view of the Sears Tower. The next shot was Rain Wilson walking into buildings on our campus I that think. we have been in a yeah. bunch. It was I crazy. Think, I was like, what? I think that he was in that, I didn't that even engineering know. and that I had classes in that building. Yeah, I didn't even know that it was going it to worse. be in Chicago. <laughs> she gave me new kisses. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. Thanks, everybody, for the support during the London Marathon running today. Yes. I love getting Twitter messages on my watch is when I'm running. You kicked butt. I get the medal in just a couple of days. They're sending them out this week. Yeah. And you feel like the best after and yeah. whatnot that you have ever. And thank you for anybody who um, was able to share our ACS page or give a donation to our ACS fundraiser. <laughs> Super important, especially yes. during these times when people are losing their health insurances and, and, and jobs. Cancer does not quit. And, Cancer does not care for COVID, so nope. it continues. Thank you. Thank you. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>